We've gotten some exciting starts this is now for 4.0 news as well as some new things we can expect this year and in the july monthly report let's talk before we get into this video i'd like to let y'all know that i'm doing a giveaway for the drake cutter in order to participate all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of september let's continue all right guys um before i get into it i'd like to give a big shout out to the pipeline discord channel for summarizing the monthly report and that's what we're going to be going through and discussing without any further ado let's get straight into it all right so um there's been some updates for ai tech it says here the team continue working on the ai vision and movement system for server meshing this will allow npcs to transition from one server to another without losing their previous context so that is good so it seems like they're transitioning um the ai uh information over to the replication layer instead of the uh dgs's themselves so the ai will not need to worry about which server it's on and the, the uh um, replication layer will just handle that under uh character art it says here the character art team began work on utility armor and progressed with specialist armors this is one of the things some of the things i'm really excited about uh, to see uh, utility more utility armor as well as civilian based armor i think uh, it will add to the diversity right now a lot of the armors are military uh, focused okay they also uh, did a uh, explode on new designs or new fauna as well as uh, the care team is also working on additional cares for star season alpha 4.0 and beyond so can't wait to see those up next is ship art okay so it says ship art is working towards new milestones for vehicles currently in production so this includes the rsi polaris the zeus and three unannounced ships so now this is exciting so three unannounced ships that are looking to be i'm, I'm assuming are are probably projected to be releasing towards the end of the year possibly citizen con and iae um so that's going to be exciting uh, to see what ships those are all right so it says here production of three new uh, vehicles has also been kicked off as long along with uh, new concept ships so that's that's gonna be nice uh, to see as well it, it, it's good it's good to see new ships and vehicles it's always exciting to to to, to have new things to uh, play with in the PE. okay so now core uh, gameplay is the biggest one in this uh, month's uh, monthly report so the very first one here says uh, gameplay feature team progress with the charge and drain they added networking support to the wider feature essentially what this means is um, every component or every gadget you have will be consuming a resource and you will also need to be managing uh, replenishing it as well as uh, how to maintain them as well so that's going to be pretty cool it's going to add to the whole engineering gameplay and uh, i can't wait to see that it says your tasks were complete for light amplification and adding control hints to toggle it on and off on supported scopes so can't wait to see that i believe this is related to the night vision scopes that we've been hearing about and uh, it seems like a uh, 4.0 we're definitely going to be seeing that i think there is some, some indication that we may see some in 3.24 but we'll have to see i haven't heard i haven't i don't think anybody has found them yet all right up next it says a uh, gameplay feature continue improving control services addressing various tuning issues with zero g traversal markers were implemented it continues to say for the multi-functional display rework comms list L target com call functionality were added and um, also says here significant progress was made on jump points with gameplay feature providing designs with ability to define exit location so this is kind of uh speaks to the shotgun effect that they were mentioning in the inside star citizen a few weeks ago pertaining to jump points where um, they're doing this so that it won't be easy for pirates to predict where you will arrive uh, this way it's a little bit easier for you to get away from their snares okay continues to say uh, players will now also get pulled into tunnel 
one by one when making a jump okay so that's interesting next it says uh, they progressed on engineering gameplay including making fully distorted items consume resources despite not being functional and uh it also says engineering screens and mfd progressed with the task uh beginning on power presets and assignment ui that's nice so there's going to be power presets that we can create and uh depending on whether uh you know you're in combat um you're just uh cruising around in space uh, just to conserve energy you will need to do a preset that is uh power saving and, and things of that nature so that's that's i think that that is going to be important so it's also good to find out that they're, they're thinking of things like this to, to make it a little bit easier for us um, as we uh traverse the various star systems okay it continues to say uh life support and fuel information were added while the power display was improved cannot wait uh, to see what these mfds look like we did get a little snippet in the uh jump point uh, isc where we've seen a little bit of uh, some of the mfds and some of the ship uis they've all had a rework and they look pretty awesome so can't wait until we can actually fully see these things and interact with them see how they work next it says our uh, radar and scanning feature progressed with gameplay feature adding delta signatures to the hud and mfds moving the jammer from the signature system to the radar components for easier integration with other systems so radar and jamming is also going to be a thing and um that's going to be cool i wonder what ships can we use to jam other people's radar that's going to be that's going to be pretty cool i'm sure are they going to have dedicated ships that will do this or would it be a module we need to have installed on our ships that's my question uh, to be able to jam other people's radars all right next under economy it says the economy team progressed with their tasks for pyro including the outer rings um, under in-game branding it says uh in-game branding continue wrapping up tasks for uh, jump points and pyro system polishing content ensuring everything fits the environment under mission design uh, it says mission design continue working on unannounced content alongside a suite that uses individual features to create complex form of repair mission so repair mission is going to be a thing as well and uh, what's really interesting about this is uh, i was reading up a little bit about it uh, so it says here for the latter they identified key structures that would be used to ensure location stay up in running and made them breakable so last inside star citizen they showcased maelstrom right maelstrom is uh buildings being able to be destructible this will apply to ships buildings um ships and buildings essentially and i'm not sure if the, the planetary bodies will also be able to take damage but i believe ships and buildings will take will be able to take damage so now with these repair missions, I think they may go in a direction where you will need to go to a location and help repair some of the facilities and um, as well as probably a repair mission to go to a ship location, like stranded somewhere, help them repair their ship and then get them back up uh, and running. So that's going to be interesting, a whole nother career for some, those people that are interested in uh, that kind of gameplay. I think that's going to be pretty cool to do. All right, so under narrative, it says on the Star Citizen 1.0 front, uh, narrative worked closely with uh, design to define mission providers and aspect of reputation. Work also started on the initial scripting and developing of additional location stories for players to discover. Uh, under online technology, it says uh, in preparation for Alpha 4.0, online services begin developing a new player trade service so now this is really exciting it says this will enable players to transfer funds amongst themselves without being subject to the game to the same game servers authority paving the way for server meshing so what this means is players will be able to set up buy and sell orders um and it will persist from server to server or shard to shard i believe and 
uh, this way if, if you are trying to sell something to somebody somebody it's not re relegated to the play session that you currently are, are doing so you can uh, this will enable the people to uh, uh, create buy and sell orders for like a week and it will just stay on the shard or I'm not sure if persistence will just be uh, on the shard level or on a more global level um, but I'm not sure how they're going to do that but um, similar to EVE Online to do buy and sell orders you'll be able to do it in that way and not have to worry about the game server uh, remaining live or anything like that so that's going to be really exciting that's going to add to the economy and gameplay i'm really excited about that personally um so that's uh this is really good to hear all right so under ui it says the ui designers and artists worked on the in-game visuals and uh functionality for the resource network uh ui uh the team completed the final polish task for uh jump points and for vehicles, the, the team replaced the old Flash MFD setup for new HUDs and resulting in a cleaner and less cluttered flight experience. The UI team's tech programmers worked on performance improvements to speed up the uh, frame rates on various parts of the UI. So now we did see this, as I said earlier, we did see this in some of the latest Inside Star Citizen episodes. You'll see it on the, on the ships. Um, they look really good okay so under vfx it says the vfx team continue to support several effects heavy features including jump points and dynamic fire it also says here they also continue work on acidic caves and completed a task for the rsi zeus and another unnamed vehicle so what vehicle is this um tasks were also kicked off for two new weapons interesting all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to the actual monthly report so you can have your own access to it. And there's a little bit more detail in that if you want to give that a read. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.